Now the mission of unity and love that I have to encourage you all with today is pretty simple. We are better together. Everybody say better together. Better together. That's why I wanted you to just get up and give somebody a hug and tell them that I, I love you and I, I know that we're about to start back school and everybody's on fire and things are good to go, man. We're about to make a difference. This is going to be our best year ever. We're going to crush it. And everybody's feeling like that right now. I know we are. But come October, <laughs> y'all going to be looking at the calendar. When, when is it? Is, is, we got a Halloween? Uh, is that a vacation day for Halloween this year? I don't know. She's raising the roof on that one. I see you. And so this mission of unity, we can't do it by ourselves. Sometimes we gotta lean on the person next to us and we say, man, I wanna give my best for these students, but today I only got 85%, can I borrow 15 from you? I wanna give my best, and so this mission of love that I have, this mission of unity that I have, I, I try to do this everywhere that I speak. Get up, give somebody a hug, tell them that you love them. It's not a secret, my mother, my, 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 my biggest fan, unfortunately she was taken away by a guy who wanted to start a racial war in our country. And being the person that I am, and by the, in the village that I was raised, by just being who I am, I always think back. Dr. Foster mentioned optimism. And this mission of unity that I have, especially in an election year like this, man, it's, it's not easy on this mission of unity, but I have so much optimism. Some people say it's naive optimism. But I think people that want to make a difference, we have to truly believe that we can make a difference in every student's life. My wife gives me 150 days every single year. I speak to over 50,000 students a year. And after I get done, I start thinking to myself, man, I really hope they caught the message that I share with them today. I really hope they got it. So that hug means a lot to me. And I, I think, I'm so optimistic. I think, man, if I would have been like in seventh grade or ninth grade and I met my mother's killer, just being the person that I am, just being who I was raised to be, man, loving everybody, never met a stranger. And I gave him a hug and I said, I love you to him, man. In my heart of hearts, I think there's no way he would have been able to do what he did to my mom and eight other people. So when I talk about this mission of unity and love, it's because I, I wholeheartedly believe that a simple hug from somebody can change their heart, can change their mind about people that look like you forever. 